being a girl in the fitness industry. Let's take a look. Posted a fitness transformation on YouTube. This is what I get. It, it just keeps going. It's like men think that I actually give a fuck what they find more sexually attractive. There is still some hope because it was probably only 98% of the men that commented said that my muscular physique was disgusting. But to that 98% that is saying a woman's physique when muscular is disgusting, do you realize how insecure that makes you look? Have a good day. What is it like being- Oh wow, this one is quite angry. Listen, if you didn't give a damn about what they said, why would you create this video? I just, I don't get it, but you know. Feel free to prove yourself wrong. Either way, we're gonna go in on this one and some more women and really break down why it's just not worth it anymore to spend your hard-earned time with women like this. Let's get into it. When I started posting on social media, I did not think it would become my job as the outcome. My anxiety has been all over the place, but recently my followers have messaged me that my mental health has noticeably been improving, which I already knew that, but the fact that it's noticeable to other people is honestly amazing. And you're probably thinking, why is she talking about anxiety right now? The best way I can describe it is when I'm focused on filming my workouts and stuff, I tend to not have the best workout. And I've been trying to get over that, but I, I'm i stuck. But then the other side of it is when I'm more focused on posting tips and helping others and answering all my DMs, then I get more fulfillment because the community I have gives me a sense of belonging. So I love answering DMs and I love helping people because it makes me happy. So I really just wanna say that I love you guys and I'm so thankful for all the support. And to all my mental health peeps, we can do this. When I started posting on social media- Oh man. Anxiety this, anxiety that. Other things you can be dealing with, but let's be real here. Um, this one just gets so much attention. I really don't get how exactly she has like 25 million likes and 650,000 followers. Um, other than by just showing her shredded physique, but you know, I kind of feel bad for her boyfriend, honestly. I get that they're both um, bodybuilders and going crazy with it. It's just like, your girls out there on the interweb and uh, <laughs> uh, anybody can slide into her DMs at any time. So be careful if you choose to uh, date somebody like this. Anxiety that... God. When it comes to dating, you need to be very careful of who you are letting run the show in your head. Do not let your ego run the show or you will be in trouble because your ego will have you chasing after people that don't deserve your attention because they're not investing in you enough and that's making you feel bad. So then you think, okay, let me just like poke them so I get attention and then you temporarily feel better, but then you've poured into them by trying to get their attention back on you and in doing so you actually poured a lot more out of your cup than they poured into yours they actually didn't even pour anything into your cup you know what they did when they came back they came back and said like oh here i am give me your cup and they took a big swig and then they handed it back to you and then they left again and then you're sitting there and your cup is even more empty it has less respect for itself and it feels kind of stupid so don't chase men let them go when it comes to dating <laughs> I can direct the exact same advice in less than 30 seconds back to you men. Don't chase women like this. This angry freaking feminist is just continuing to um, spur her audience. And, well, you know what? Nobody gives in. Nobody's going to date anymore. Like I was watching Better Bachelor earlier, and the title of one of his videos was that 60% of men aren't dating. 
and only 30% of women aren't, but, you know. Single women still have fun, right? Either way, let's move on to the next one. I really wish that this was an exaggeration, but it's not. It's Friday night, I'm staying in, a little unhinged myself. Decided to hop on Hinge, actually Bumble, to just do a little scrollsy, kill some time, see what's going on, per usual, nothing. I did notice an interesting new trend though, and that is that, no lie, no lie, no lie. 90% of the men on that app that I just said no, 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 because I could tell like really fast, I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm attracted to a very specific person, and I just immediately... Anyways, 90% of them are, they don't know what they're looking for. They don't know what they're looking for. What are you looking for? I don't know. I don't know. Well, t oh, guess what, Brandon? If you don't know what you're looking for, why don't you have a seat and go home and come back out and play when you do know what you're looking for? How about that? I wish. I truly would. <laughs> oh, her uh, own advice isn't really working for her. Seems like Brandon there just wanted to smash and knew exactly what he was looking for. You know, just like women say a bunch of confusing things or say something that they don't actually mean, guys can do the same thing and we've picked up on that and are putting that out there in our dating lives because the less serious you take things, the better off it's going to be. Um, all the power to those of you that are in long-term relationships, all of you that are married. Um, I hope things are working out well for you, but honestly, I'm not surprised the men go their own way when they have to deal with stuff like this. Just one more for you. Hang in there. I appreciate your company, and uh, hopefully you're enjoying some of this, or at least having a laugh. Let's get to it. Like, I don't know how much more I have to go through to soon just not believe a fucking word any man says. I'm pretty close. I'm getting there. I'm really getting there. And, like, who can have a relationship with someone that always is a pessimistic and, like, negative? I don't want to date them. And we agree. We just want peace. Honestly, most of us bust our backs and long job, work long, hard hours, manual labor, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, and we don't want to come home to somebody nagging us. It's just not worth it. It's really why people are checking out when this is what's left in the dating pool. These women in their 30s that just uh, have so much baggage that they haven't dealt with and feel like they're owed the world. That's just not the case. Anyways, gentlemen, always do your due diligence when it comes to stuff like this, and thank you for watching. Bye for now.